Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well Virgo Rising. A weekly tarot reading, September 2nd to a, a September 8th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards, and uh, we can jump right into it. All right, so the first card, which stands for the uh, topic of your week, Virgo, is going to be the uh, Page of Wands, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. We do have the King of Pentacles. Afterwards, uh, it is the, oh my God, it is the Queen of Pentacles, which stands for the positive aspect. It's like a, uh, <laughs> it's like a, a Fight in the family what the child should should do, all right? Something like it. Uh, but we're going to get into that in a minute. So Queen of Pentacles, it is the um, positive aspect. And afterwards, afterwards, what we do have, it is the justice, which stands for the guidance. So you do have a big decision to make throughout this, uh, throughout this week, Virgo, for what it seems. A, a decision which is going to... Um, pretty much manifest or is going to mark your near future. So before we go into all that, uh, let's run the cards down one more time. So we do have the page of wands, which stands for the topic. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the king of pentacles, which represents the uh, challenges. Then it is the queen of pentacles standing for the positive aspect. And then the last one here is going to be the justice, which stands for the topic. So, uh, Page of Pentacles, we do have a person, actually, we do have quite a lot of people that are going to be invested into the week, into your endeavor. So, we do have Page of uh, page of Wands. Yeah, I said Pentacles before. Well, it's a Page of Wands. So, Page of Wands as a general topic, which is a your person that you're going to deal with, okay? Um, <clears throat> main person that you're going to deal with. Someone with those kind of like a... Um, a carefree behavior, it's, it, it looks a bit immature, all right, but it has those kind of, from a positive standpoint, a ridiculous ideas and, and assumptions, all right, that one wants to explore the world and wants to take you on this journey, all right, so that's the whole point with having the page of wants, uh, or with the page page of wands around you. Now, one thing I want to warn you about the page of wands is that although they may seem kind of detached and carefree and that they don't concern themselves with what the rest are thinking about them or how big, how much they, they have been criticized. So in other words, they look strong outside. They are very, very fragile from within. And whatever you say to them, it really makes an impression. So if you want to have a good terms with this page here that you are going to face throughout the week, you know, it is best to, to think very carefully, you know, should you divulge your criticism toward them. The accompanied card here is going to be the Six of Pentacles, the formation. It is a, um, 
active neutrals and uh, it, it all comes to decision that, that is sown here into the uh, justice card which is the guidance but here also we can see a um, not shrapnels but remnants right remnants of, of a decision making should you continue on this path that you are uh, going into right now or should you allow to diverse from it or to to divert from it excuse me with the page with this new direction that the page is offering it's like i'll job wise or either relationship wise as well so that leads us to the next one uh which it it regards to the challenges that you need to overcome and this is a, a person that it is close to you we do have the king of pentacles so what the king of pentacles here does is that he's going to try to prove you uh, to prove wrong going into this direction because it's not gonna worth it <clears throat> now what you need to know however about the king of pentacles is that they are not very accustomed to doing things for for the sake of it all right they always look at doing something uh, in a sense of having to gain something in return right so that's why they may not see very well the purpose behind you going with this person into um, and kind of like you know diverting from your original path and like i said at the start of the reading it sounds like a family that tries to convince you what is good and uh, what is good or right it could be that way you know maybe you try you you have to prepare for certain exams at the start of uh, at the start of the new semester here in september but this friend of yours comes around having two tickets for a cruiser all right and asks you to go there so you do have a decision to make should you stick to your original plan and study the hell out of it all right and um kind of prepare yourself for the exams or do you feel yourself prepared enough so you can kind of like scratch the last couple of weeks and go have fun on a, a cruiser it could be like this all right so this is a, this is for such kind of a situation we are talking about here and we do have your father saying that no you have to study you know otherwise you ain't gonna pull out a, a good grade and so on and so forth the accompanied card here it is the lovers card and pretty much they made up their minds that is the uh, <clears throat> passive enemies that we do have here so uh, there is no point trying to convince this one that you actually have the right or actually is going to be beneficial for you to cooperate with the page of wands uh, simply uh, the best way how you can overcome this thing is to ignore it it could be for example your boss uh, that is trying to convince you out of starting a new job okay but if that's the case having it into a challenging position it will be very difficult for you to um, kind of puts an ultimatum in a sense of that okay i'm gonna stay but you need to raise my salary what they are gonna say to you is that going for the new job actually is going to put you in a more in a position of um, more disadvantages than advantages in this kind of stuff so the next one it is the uh, positive aspect of your week and we do have another person now that is the motherhood figurine this time around um that is the um queen of pentacles so what the queen of pentacles are going is going to encourage you is that whatever the page is offering as in an idea or adventure you know or an enterprise endeavor or whatever it is in an unfound potential of yours so you have to definitely try it out and see if you can make it work okay because at the end of the day what matters is not how much money for example or how much grades we do have in the bank but what matters is what you see when you look yourself in the mirror are you happy with yourself that is what matter and uh, if this endeavor with the page is going to make you happy then you should go for it now that i think of another example it's let's say that you do have a husband okay and uh, you have planned to i don't know to make renovation in your home with your husband in the next couple of weeks or in the next week that is but a, a, a good friend of yours comes around and asks you to go on a road trip with her and this is something that you would love to do okay so you do have a decision to make should you stick with your original plan or should you simply uh, postpone this renovation for the next for the week after for the next week after this one all right and go to the road trip which is going to make you happy now one other friend of yours is going to 
is going to try try to breed sense within you to actually do what makes you happy while your husband in this case will persist into staying home and helping him with the renovation and you cannot convince him other way around okay so leaving for example in uh in the road trip in this uh in this scenario that i'm presenting here uh is going to make him unhappy okay or displeased the very least the accompanied card here is going to be the um three of cups formation it is a, a passive uh friends that we do have so with the three of cups here uh, uh pretty much this uh this person most likely a woman it could be a male as well is going to point you the very um quick benefits that you're gonna reap from going with the page uh experiencing this crazy idea you know or a crazy enterprise and etc etc and also this uh, it's it's difficult to divulge it here but uh, this person it very well uh recognizes you know what you need from because that person shares your vision a a very good friend of yours it could be as well your mother or your mother-in-law you know or this faithful companion into your career that pretty much sees you know how much you toil and how much you try to make the things work uh, making big compromises and now the situation has to make compromise with you and allow you to experience something crazy and something exciting something exhilarating and at the end we do have the justice here which stands for the uh, guidance that Tara is offering to you so the justice breeds about the choice that you need to make and uh, as a guidance it only points that you need to be accountable towards yourself all right this is the whole point of uh, of the justice meaning that you should think first and foremost for yourself and then think for the rest because now it's your time to reap uh, fruits of your labor if I may say it that way now if you have been performing for example into your marriage for years around okay and you never complained or never asked for anything well your marriage owns you this if we are going with the scenario of the road trip for example okay and uh, and vice versa and yeah it's it's kind of like you need to recognize that at the end of the day uh, you um, how how do I say it? At the end of the day, you you have to reap the consequences of your actions. Okay, and this action with the page of wands, the consequences are going to be exhilarating and exciting. The accompanied card here is going to be the world, the formation. It is a uh, active. Um, active enemies and the world says that no big deal is gonna come come out of it you know afterwards after this endeavor is done after this enterprise or adventure is done all right life is gonna go back to normal it's not gonna be that big uh, how do i say it that big disruption that one may assume that one is gonna have for example you go to the road trip and you think the worst that your husband is really mad at you all right and they will probably try to get revenge it's with these two cards it doesn't look like that is going to happen also the the memories of the exhilarating times and of the um how can i say it of um, happily emotional experience is gonna stay for or is gonna stick with you for a quite of a long time so that being said virgo this was your weekly tarot reading for a uh, september 2nd to september 8 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, we are going to see each other around until then bye